yo what's going on youtube welcome back to another video and today guys i'll be showing you on how to make two glitch outfits and also guys if you're new here remember to subscribe turn on the bell notification as well give this video a thumbs up let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video basically go to any clothing store on the map all the clothing stores have the same items so go to anyone you want go to the top section once you're there and you will need to find the sweater section. So once you do find the sweater section, you will need to purchase a brown turtleneck. It is called the brown turtleneck. It should be the same color as the tan joggers, the brown ones. Purchase the brown turtleneck and make your way over to the shoe section. Once you're at the shoe section, find the sports shoes and you would need to purchase the all white sport shoes. These right here, they are called the all white sport shoes. Purchase these and make your way to the accessories so we can buy some gloves. All right guys, once you're at the glove section, you will need to purchase the gray woodland armor. They are called the gray woodland armor, these. After you purchase those, make your way to the mask store. So once you're at the mask store, push right on the d-pad, find the head scarf section. So once you're at the head scarf section, the head scarf you do want to purchase, it is called the fall wrapped. Basically it has like a little desert looking feel color to it. It is called the fall wrapped. Purchase this one, save this as an outfit one time and continue to stay at the mask store. So. Once you did save this as an outfit one time, push B once, go to where these hats are, push right on the D-pad. You will need to find the bulletproof helmet section. So go to the bulletproof helmet section and purchase the tan bulletproof helmet. After you purchase that, back out from the mask store and apply the saved outfit we just made and make your way over to a telescope so we can do a telescope glitch. So guys, once you're near the telescope, basically you're going to run past the telescope, push right on the pad, pull away from the telescope. Your mask should disappear like this once you got the glitch to work. Open up your interaction menu, go to style, go to accessories, and cycle through the helmets till you find the tan bulletproof helmet. Once you've done that, back out from the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and your glitched outfit should look like this correctly. And now on this next part is guys, make your way over to the mask store and save this as an outfit. Okay guys, you would need a terabyte. If you do not have a terabyte, you can always tell a friend or a stranger so you could request his terabyte. And also guys, you can register a CEO or MC in order to do this duffel bag glitch. So once you have your terabyte guys, go to this touchscreen device, push right on the D-pad, go to client jobs and start up a robbery in progress. You can do this solo, you don't need a friend as well. Once you do locate the duffel bag, basically just make your way over there and pick it up. It doesn't matter which location the duffel bag is located, the duffel bag mission will still work for the glitch. And as well, it does not matter if you die during the mission, the glitch will still work. So once you do locate the duffel bag where it is located, basically make your way to the bank, kill off the police officers, kill off the bank robbers, and make your way inside of the bank and pick up the black duffel bag. Once you pick it up, make your way over to the yellow drop off point with a flying vehicle. Alright guys, with your flying vehicle, once you're near the yellow drop off point, you will need to jump out of your flying vehicle. And once you jump out of your flying vehicle, open up your parachute and basically you're going to glide into the yellow marker where the drop off point is. If you do not land directly into the yellow marker, try to land near it or around it. And once you do, land directly in it or around it. Basically your black duffel bag should disappear, but that's fine. Once it does disappear, you would need to go in your personal vehicle or an NPC vehicle and make your way over to any ammunition that's closest to you. Once you arrive at the ammunition, go to the front counter, push right on the D-pad, go to parachutes, and once you're on parachutes, go to the parachute bags, and find the Israel troop bag and purchase it. It is a blue and white one. It is called the Israel troop bag. After you purchase that, back out from the counter, equip it on through the interaction menu. And once you equip it on, go back on your flying vehicle and make your way over to the mass store. 
With your flying vehicle, once you're near the mast door, fly really high near the mast door, and basically you're going to jump out of your flying vehicle. Once you jump out of your flying vehicle, open up your parachute and basically glide into the mast door. So basically you want your character to tumble into the mast door. Once he tumbles into the mast door, that's when you continue to spam right on the D-pad till the mast door opens up for you. So, I'm going to tumble into the mast door. And once I tumble into the mast door slash fall into the mast door, that's when I continue to spam right on the D-pad. Now, keep on doing it till it opens up for you. Once it opens up for you, save this as an outfit. Once you save this as an outfit, back out from the mast door. Walk away from the mast door at least 10 or 15 feet. And you will need to open up your interaction menu, go to style, and apply the new outfit we just made at the mask store. And the black duffel bag should appear like this. If you can enter the clothing shops with the duffel bag, basically just easy way out and your duffel bag should disappear. And if you want the duffel bag to appear again, just apply the saved outfit we just made. But yeah, guys, hopefully y'all did enjoy this first outfit. Let's not waste any more time and let's get straight to the second outfit tutorial. Make your way to any clothing store on the map. They all have the same items as well. So go to the front counter, push right on the D-pad. Go to the Diamond Casino Heist and you will need to find the Refuse Collector and purchase this one, the Pickup. Purchase the Pickup. After you purchase that, back out from the counter. Make your way over to the top section. And once you're at the top section, go down to the Overcoat Blazers and remove the No Tops. Click the first one and your arms should look like this. After you've done that guys, make your way over to the pants section. So once you're at the pants section, go to leather pants and purchase these. They are called the black padded. Purchase the black. You will need to head over to the mask store. So once you arrive at the mask store, push right on the D-pad and you would need to find the crime section. And once you do find the crime section, Scroll all the way down till you find the black t-shirt mask. It is called the black t-shirt mask. After you find that, basically save this as an outfit one time. Once you done save this as an outfit one time, basically still stay at the mask door and move over to the left where the hats are at the mask store. Once you do move to the left where these hats are near the mask store, right here, push right on the D-pad. And you will need to go to the combat helmet section. Go to the combat helmet. And once you do go to the combat helmets, you will need to purchase a quad lens. Purchase the black quad lens. So after you purchase the black quad lens, back out from the mask store and apply the saved outfit we just made. And make your way over to the pier so we could do a telescope glitch. The telescope glitch is very, very simple to do. I'll walk you guys through it. So once you arrive at the telescope, it doesn't matter which telescope you go to, go to anyone. So basically you're going to run past the telescope, push right on the D-pad, pull away from the telescope, and your mask should disappear off of your character's head like this. You will need to open up the interaction menu, go to style, go to accessories, cycle through the helmets till you find the black qual lens we did purchase. After you find that, back out from the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and your black t-shirt mask should be underneath your quad lens like this. Bam. Once you got the glitch outfit to work, make your way over to the mask store and save this as an outfit. For this next part guys, you will need an arcade. If you do not have an arcade, you can tell a buddy or stranger to lend you his arcade. You can register as CEO or MC to do this mission. It doesn't matter which one you pick, just register as either one. So once you're at your arcade, basically you will need to start up the mission called the hacking device as a Lester picture on this. So it is called the hacking device. After you launch that, basically you should be spawning with the suit slash tuxedo. If you do not spawn with the suit slash tuxedo, basically push find new session and continue to start up the mission to you spawn with it. So once you spawn with the tuxedo slash suit, make your way over to the ammunition store. And this part's really, really cool guys. We're basically going to get the FIB badge. The FIB badge is really amazing. So guys, once you do arrive at the 
ammunition store. Basically, just enter the ammunition store, go to the outfit section right here, push right on the D pad, and go to outfit saved and click the saved outfit. We just made this one. After you've done that, basically just make your way over to the yellow drop-off point. Remember, you can do this solo. So once you're at the yellow drop-off point, basically kill off all the FIB badge members. It doesn't matter. Just kill them off and basically pick up the FIB badge. Push right on the D-pad. And once you pick it up, basically your character should have the FIB badge on like this. Once you do pick up the FIB badge, make your way to any ammunition, the one that's closest to you. So make your way to any ammunition on the map. Go to the outfit section right here, push right on the D-pad, and save this as an outfit at least two times. Once you did save this as an outfit at least two times, basically you could just put find new session and you should have the saved outfit. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and comment below what you think about this two try hard glitch outfit video. Comment below if you do want more videos like this. And also guys, if you haven't joined my Discord, I'm gonna put a link down below on how to join my Discord in the description. I also do have a Twitter and Instagram page if y'all guys wanna give those a follow. It is gonna be a link in the description as well. But yeah guys, hopefully I did enjoy. Catch you on the next GTA 5 online video. Peace.